Dear students, today I am going to discuss question number 1.3 from IE Rudu. In this question, a car start moving rectilinearly, that's why I have drawn the graph, that is velocity time graph. First, with acceleration 5 meter per second, initial velocity is taken 0, then uniformly and finally deaccelerating at the same rate, same rate means whatever acceleration initial it has, that is 5 meter per second square, finally it will deaccelerate the same rate. And total time taken by this particular car is 25 second, the average velocity is 72 km per hour. How long the car will move? You, have, you need to calculate the time. Time means the time which is in which car is moving uniformly. First acceleration, uniformly acceleration is 0 and then deacceleration. Let us see first of all how do you calculate the slope under this graph because slope will give you acceleration which is given. Slope means tangent theta and slope means also first gradient. Right now, we will calculate it by slope will give you acceleration, which is velocity upon time. Now, you know, acceleration is given that is 5, which is equal to V upon T. Then, velocity can be calculated, velocity is equal to 5 into T. It means up to 5 T velocity, it will move with uniform rate you know, sorry, with acceleration. And after that, uniform rate, if there is uniform rate. Average velocity is also given. Let V average, which is equal to 72 into 5 by 80, and it will be 20, 20 meter per second. If velocity is given, distance can be calculated, distance by T, and distance can be written as V into T. When you put the value of V, V is 20, and into time. Time total time taken is uh, 25 and it will be 500 meters. The distance taken can write 500 meters during this total journey and time is 25 seconds. Now, in order to calculate the time, we need to calculate the area under this curve. This curve you know that is trapezium. Area of trapezium can be written as area means here distance which is equal to half into sum of parallel sides. Sum of parallel side means sum of parallel side means 25 this one plus this one that is plus 20 into perpendicular distance that is 5t. You see here 5t. Now put the value as you know that is 500 half into 25 plus delta t can be calculated that is 25 minus 2t. This value you can write this is t like this is t that will be 25 minus t. And that will be and multiplied by the perpendicular directly that is 5t. Now you need to solve it. When you solve it, I will directly write 200 is equal to 50t minus 2t square. This is quadratic equation which can be solved by factorization t square minus 25t. minus 25t minus 5t plus 100t which is equal to 0. Make the factorization t can be taken from and inside the bracket you have t minus 20 where I have to write 20 this is 20 t minus 20 minus 5 you can take common that is t minus 20 is equal to 0. From here we will get two values of time one is 20 second and another you know time is equal to 5 second two values of time we have calculated. But we need to calculate the time for uniform motion that is delta t. How do you calculate the delta t that can be written as you need the value of you can put from here. Delta t is equal to 
25 minus 5 t t and I have calculated that is 5 into 2 20 2 into t t is 5 I am taking 5 and 2 is already given and now solve it that will be 25 minus 10 finally it will be 15 seconds but you know 15 seconds it means time duration when car will follow the uniform acceleration not uniform acceleration uniform motion it means acceleration is zero that time is 15 seconds thank you